To understand a military veteran, you must know. We left home as a teenager, or in our early 20s, for an unknown adventure. We loved our country enough to defend it and protect it with our lives. We said goodbye to family and friends. We learned the basics and then we scattered in the wind to the far corners of the earth. We became brothers and sisters, regardless of color, race, or creed. We didn't earn a great wage. We experienced the happiness of mail call and the sadness of missing important events back home. We didn't know when or even if we were ever going to see home again. We grew up fast, and yet somehow we never grew up at all. We fought for our freedom as well as the freedom of others. Some saw combat, some didn't. Some of us saw the world, and some of us didn't. Some of us dealt with physical warfare. Most of us dealt with psychological warfare. We participated in time-honored ceremonies and rituals with each other, strengthening our bonds and camaraderie. We counted on each other to get our job done, and sometimes to survive it at all. We have dealt with victory and tragedy. We have celebrated and mourned. We lost a few along the way. When our adventure was over, some of us went back home, and some of us started somewhere new, and some of us never came home at all. We share an unspoken bond with each other that most people don't experience, and few will understand. We speak highly of our own branch of service and poke fun at other branches. We know, however, that if needed, we will be there for our brothers and sisters and stand together as one in a heartbeat. Being a veteran is something that had to be earned. It can never be taken away. To all our veterans here today, I commend you and thank you for all that you have done and sacrificed for your country. Try to remember the good times and make peace with the bad. But most importantly, stand tall and proud, for you have earned the right to be called a veteran.